hi guys welcome to my youtube channel please comment subscribe give this video a thumbs up i'm going to be discussing about the numbers of block that can be used to set a building to damp proof cost level that's dpc so for this very i'm going to be making use of this building plan so i'll have to explain the plan first here is the veranda from the veranda to the living room living room to lobby then this room is an end suit it has a toilet inside then this lobby access to this room then this toilet is a general toilet for this room and for visitor this is the kitchen then this is the dining then this is the entrance veranda so first of all for me to be to calculate then i'll have to go for the walls i'm going to make use of in to in dimensions so that's the first thing that i am going to do so the in to in dimension I have to work with it so now let's pick let's pick something for our dimensions now we have to first of all start with work with the the let's work with this room let's use this room as a case study now first of all the in to in dimension for this room let's pick this very well I'll be the first to pick, pick this one into in 3900. So I wrote it down 3900. 3, so before writing it down, I'll stroke it so that I will not repeat that very wall line again. You understand? So I'll stroke it then before writing it down 3900. Then, so for this other wall, it's part of the room 3900. So I'll stroke. This is the same. This is 3900. If year to year is 3900, year to year is also 3900. You understand? So it's still the same goal. So this 3900, I will stroke, then I'll write it down 3900. So we already have this wall and this wall that is already cancelled out now. So we now have this wall and this wall that is now standing for this very room. So let me, let me pick this wall now, which is 3,600, 3, year to year, year to year is 3,600, year to year is 3,600. So I'll cancel 3,600, then write it down, then it will not be remaining this very wall. So 3,600, I'll do the same thing again. I'll cancel, then write it down, 3,600. Now let's go to this toilet. You know that this toilet looking at this drawing is uh, connected to this room so it's connect connected to the wall of this very room so since we already cancelled this wall we are not going to repeat it again because like as i have explained that anyone that you have cancelled and written down you don't have to repeat it again so you have to be conscious of that so since we've already cancelled this wall and this toilet is linked to it we've already cancelled it we are not going to pick this very wall again so this one is free and this one is free so i'll have to pick this very one which is 1200 i'll cancel then i'll indicate the measurements 1200 write it down then the next one this one is free i'll cancel 1200 and write it down you understand so that's how you do everything it's very easy to do it's not difficult it does not take time you just have to be Relax while doing it. So as you cancel, then you write the measurement down. As you cancel, cancel, you write the measurement down. So this the reason for this cancel is to help you not to repeat the wall that you have already written before, that you have already uh, added before. So when you cancel, you know that you've already written that wall. Then you move to the next. That just like that, you understand. So that's what you do for all the walls for all the walls that's what you do now for this very plan i forgot to to write down the dimension of this one so this very old dimension is not part of it now so I, it's just for you to understand how to do it you, you guess what i'm saying so for the beam for the beam we are already done with the walls you understand so i've already explained where all the walls are you understand you cancel then write down the measurement like that like that so that's what i did throughout this place then to this place you understand so 
these are all the walls now for the beams so these are the these are beams so for the beams how do you know the beam where the veranda is whatever veranda or, or dining arc so it's represented with a broken with broken lines so this one there is a broken line here too there is a broken line here too so since we already we've already identified beam then we'll look for the measurement the measurement of this very beam now this one so you can see it's presented with a broken line is the beam is from year to year so what's the measurement of year to year which is 3900 you write 3900 down the beam you understand so then the next beam is at this time 2100 yeah, this is it year to year 2100 so this beam will be 2100 then the next one for this at the veranda is the same measurement see see same measurement 2100 year to year this is the length 2100 so you get 2100 so you also indicate beams you write at the as you write down as you cancel you write down the measurement so you see the same method cancel write down the measurement so indicates as beams so that you know that that measurement is for the beams you understand so for the wall joints you have to you know that when we're taking our measurement we did it as in to in so for the art at every in to in there is always a joint so at every a uh, connection point there is a joint so this one this one met each other and there was a joint you understand so you have to count the number of joints we have one year two year three year four year four year five year we are not going to count the joints guys yeah because this distance here to here, 3900. I've already added this joint here and this joint. You understand? So then you pick this joint. Every every joint that you are picking, you have to identify with something. So I just circled it so that I know that I've already added up that joint. You understand? So this joint, I've, I've circled it because I've already added it. This joint, I've already added it. So I circled it. Also with this one, I circled it. So that's what you'll be doing. You circle it so that you know that I've already picked that joint. But in a situation whereby you have like something like this, this room and this toilet is inside now. So we've already we took, we took our dimension from here to here. Definitely you cannot pick this joint because this measurement from here to here, I've already summed up the 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 joint of this one. You understand? So you have to consider that when you are picking your joint so this one is a joint now for the joint you have to consider the size of the block that will be used for the construction or that is already used for the construction so if you see the cheese block that you need to use you use 150 then multiply by the number of joints that you got after adding on the joints for this plan i got 16 joints so if if it's nine cheese block you are using you indicate as two five then you multiply by the numbers of a of joints that you got if it's five inches block that you're using then you have to uh, calculate the measurement for five inches in millimeter then you multiply by the number of joints you understand so for, for me to teach you how to calculate the numbers calculate converts from uh, inches to millimeter that will be in another video so i can't do that in a year so the next thing is we'll now go for We'll go for since we are working with dpc only so we are not going to work with a toilet a window kitchen window anything window and doors you understand so we are not going to work with that because at dpc level there's nothing like window nothing like door, doors so i'm just i just decided to add it up so that in my next video i can be able to work with this very plant you can see that at this veranda for the living room there is a pillar here so the size of your pillar is what determine what you will write down so for this very plan the size of the pillar is two to five and i have only one pillar so if it's more than one then i'll multiply by the size of the pillar so since this pillar is two to five and is one to be two to five times one so which is two to five so I'll be working with 2 to 5. Now, at downproof course level, 
what you do is to use the sum total of the walls and the joints that are the sum total of the joints as well the measurement we know that the measurement is in millimeter which we have in our plan and you add up also the sum total of beams the sum total of the beams well what i mean here is what i mean here is sum total of the walls i mean the whole of the measurements that you've written down for the walls you sum everything together you add it together just use calculator it's easier for you this is your calculator of your phone or whichever calculator you have to so add it together then the sum of the joints this one is a uh, 150 i use six inches block multiply by numbers of uh, of the joints that i have i have 16 so i just multiply it and get 2500 so that will be some total of my joints then for the pillar we already have one multiply by one so that would determine the numbers of pillar then the beams i'll add everything together and get my value okay. so that's what i mean by that so then but you have to after adding up your walls then the sum of your walls the sum of your joints then the total sum of your beams as well you have to subtract the size of the pillar if it's one pillar then the measurement what you got numbers are you, the total sum of the pillar that you got you subtract it from you subtract it from the beam you understand so meanwhile i have only one pillar then the height of the pc is determined by the level of the road note i will be using the number of coach in height for my calculation for this i'll be using five coach for my unproof course block setting height because i don't want to work with meter or millimeter i'm going to be calculating based on on, on height based on coach so the total numbers of walls from this man plan after adding everything all the walls up so the value that i got was 64,950 millimeter so now let me convert it to meter i have 64.95 as you divide divide your millimeter value by 1000 so you get 64.95 meter so from my practical dimension so i measured the uh, the this distance 2.946 meter from the setting of a building block that i got on on real life so this one is not based on calculation so i just measured my wall from my fence that has not been plastered plastered so i just measured it after taking my measurement and i got two points nine four six meter at one coach it gave me six blocks then this now the sum total of beams which i've already explained before is eight thousand one hundred if you convert to meter you have eight points one meter then the pillars my pillar is two to five it's only one pillar then now the sum total of the joints which i've done before i have explained which is six 150 multiplied by 16 numbers of joints that i got was 16 multiplied by the size of my block that i'm using using my setting which is 150 so I, that was how i got 2000 2400 so that's what i've gotten there then the next thing is add the total wall plus the total joints the total wall that i got was 64,900 50 millimeter which is this then i'll add it with my total joints which i have explained before which is 2400 now after adding top i got this number in millimeter so we can convert to this one the sum total of us which plus the plus the beam then you now have to remove the pillar you understand so therefore the sum total of walls and beam which i've already added before i've already added it, so i didn't want to start showing it again you understand so sum total of walls of joints 
this is 2400 then so total of the of the war in combination of the two some total of war plus some total of joint which is some total of war is 4950 some total of joint is 2400 so that's why i got this number so this is the number you understand so we've already added that of the walls and the joints so i forgot to indicate it here so the joint is also part of the wall so some total that's why i use some total you understand the walls the joint is part of the wall now uh, plus total beam minus pillar you understand so therefore some total of the walls which include the joint 7350 then plus some total of my beam some total of my beam some total of beams is 8100 so this plus 8100 minus the size of my pillar some total of my pillar you know that we have only one pillar so you can have more than one pillar minus some total of your pillar after doing this calculation you have 75,225 mm now you can convert it to meter i have explained before divided by 1000 therefore now from my practical measurement that i got two therefore from my practical measurement 2946 meter gave me six blocks at one coach now therefore to get one coach for our plan you understand we, what we'll do is the 2.946 meter for the existing uh, building the one that i measured from our practical gave me six blocks then the sum some total meter of our plant 75.225 meter will give me what s so i'm looking for the number of blocks that this calculation this very calculation is going to give which is 75.225 meter so 75.25 how many will it give which is s this 75.25 meter is the calculation from our plan we don't know we call it s now you have to cross multiply after you cross multiply then s you now have 2.946 x equal to 451.35 so you divide by 2.946 s s will give you 153.2 so 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 you just approximate up and call it s will now be equal to 154 blocks at one coach this one coach now is for our plan you understand so now if one coach will give me 154 blocks and i am looking for five coach for example you are looking for six coach as your dpc so it all depends on the level of your room maybe if your dpc is eight coach or seven coach so you know what to do so one coach give me 154 blocks from our plan now so now what will five coach which i am looking for from my this our plan what will it give to me to give me x so i have to cross multiply after i cross multiply s times one equal to one of the four times five s will not be 154 multiplied by five s will become 770 blocks therefore our plan at five coach has total number of 770 blocks